In this quick tip video, we're going to go over the topic of creating sharp edge selections as well as sharp seam selections whenever you are working with UVs. Let's say you are retopologizing a hard surface model, and obviously you would want to apply beveling to it at some point. To do that, we could hold down the shift key to manually select edge loops wherever we have hard edges and then use the bevel tool. However, we can save a little bit of time by using a tool in select mode, edges, scrolling toward the bottom of the selected section and choosing select sharp. We don't see anything initially, but once we begin to scrub the slider here, we can see interactive adjustments being made. So let's go to 45. I'll hit OK. Now that that's done, we can choose something like the bevel tool. Here too, you can scrub your slider to see interactive adjustments made. And I'll hit OK. Now, because of the beveling, we don't really have very good sharp edges anymore. So uh, if I wanted to select sharp uh, for the purposes of creating uh, UV seams, then it's not as good. Cancel. So undo to go back to the sharp edge selection that we have. And this time, if I wanted to use sharp edge selections in order to create UV seams, then in the same area, I would choose set seams. Now all we have to do to unwrap using this seam selection is choose any one of these tools here in the UV section because it contextually opens all the UV tools to us. With that done, all we have to do is click unwrap. It unwraps everything and packs them into the UV space for us. But I'll undo once more. So this time I'm going to go back to beveling. 3D Coat remembers the last settings I had. Um, let me reduce it a bit more. And hit OK. The point I wanted to get across here is it's a little bit difficult using both with the seam selections because if you use beveling, it drastically alters your hard edges. However, if you want to use both, you might elect to go with beveling first and then in your UV section here, you can hold down the shift key to select entire loops or just use edge loops and it has you in that mode automatically so you don't have to hold down the shift key. UV path tool is kind of a point to point seam selection. But in this case, what we want to do is just simply choose auto seams. And for the most part, 3D Coat does the job for us. Now we can go ahead and click unwrap. And there you go. So once more to summarize, if you want to use sharp edge selection to create both beveling and UV seams, use beveling first and then use auto seams in the UV section here. Okay. So I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.